It's called the Vidui, a prayer of repentance and a plea for forgiveness. The Vidui uh, is a central uh, prayer of confession uh, and for forgiveness uh, of the Jewish people on Yom Kippur. And it's a prayer that they pray, not only behalf, on behalf of themselves, but on behalf of all the Jewish people around the world. Reverend David Pelegi serves as the rector of Christ Church in the heart of Jerusalem's old city. He studied the Jewish roots of Christianity for nearly 30 years. He says the Vidui recognizes, as Jeremiah the prophet wrote, that the heart is deceitful above all things, and that deeds need to follow repentance. One thing that we, we learn from the Jewish people, uh, something quite important, especially about Yom Kippur, that it's not enough to say you're sorry. You have to confess, say you're sorry, and then at the same time take practical steps to change your behavior. The Vidui contains sections to be said both corporately and prayed by the individual. The group repeats confessions like, we sinned before you, we betrayed you, we spoke falsely. Now we want to repent and ask your forgiveness. The individual prays in part, O God and Father, maker of heaven and earth, I penitently acknowledge my sins, desiring to learn what is your will concerning me and resolving to devote myself more faithfully to your holy service. Pelagi says Christians can find a parallel between Yom Kippur and the teachings of Jesus. Now we have a uh, saying of Jesus, don't we? It says, if you bring your gift to the altar and your brother uh, has something against you, leave your gift at the altar and go and be reconciled with your brother. Jewish tradition says, go get your relationship right with your neighbor, with your brother, with your family member, forgive and be reconciled. And then when you, on the day of atonement, when you begin to fast and pray, and to confess, um, God will hear your prayer and forgive you as you have forgiven others. It's a teaching of Jesus, and it's also something that's part and parcel of, uh, of Jewish tradition. And here the two line up very nicely. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.